Okay, so now what I want to do with the basic functionality of our app, more or less complete, is let's go ahead and just apply some very basic styling to the app and just kind of clean it up a little bit before we deploy it using Ionic View. So I'm going to just minimize this and for now we can even just stop the server. And what I'm going to do is close out a bunch of these windows. And what I'm going to do now is take a look in our assets directory. So we have in our assets directory this images folder, which currently just contains an Ionic logo in there. So what I'm going to do is drop some background images here into this directory. And this website just provides a bunch of free stock photos that are really high quality. So they're kind of nice for use in building um, sort of test applications or demo applications. I'm not affiliated with these guys in any way. I just figured I would give you a heads up that this is what I use a lot of times and yeah, I find it to be really easy to find some good photos here. Let's find some background images. All right, that one looks good. And I'm just gonna download like a medium size. This one looks good, we'll download this one. And then, I don't know, maybe something like this looks good. Okay, so we've got some images. I'm just gonna drop them here into the images directory. And I just renamed them to like BG1, BG2, and BG3. All right, so those look good. Now what we can do is in any one of our style sheets, so let's take a look. So like in home, we'll go into our home.scss file and I'm just gonna paste in some styles here. So you can see that we can sort of nest our selectors here, which is kind of nice. So we can see that in this ion content div that we'll have in our homepage component, we'll just have a background and need to fix that. So it's going to be in assets slash images, and then we'll have this bg1.jpg. So you can provide a relative path in your URL, and so that should work. Likewise, on our add note page, if we go into the SCSS file there, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste. We'll grab our second background image, and then finally in view note, I'm gonna go ahead and paste, and you can see that here we'll use our bg3.jpg. So again, just use whatever images that you've collected and named in your assets slash images directory. This other stuff here is um, basically just applying a little bit of a gradient overlay to each of the images. This is an effect that you may have seen before where we have a sort of semi-transparent or semi-opaque background gradient and that's going to get overlaid on this uh, background image. I also have some CSS class selectors here just to do a little bit of styling to some of the other elements on this page. Okay, so let's go take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and start the server. Okay, and we'll inspect to get more of a device type view. And so you can see there's our background. It's pretty cool if we add a note, we can see another page with another background. And if we view a note, again, we have a third background with a little bit more styling on our page here. So this is pretty nifty. We, we might add some more things to sort of like maybe add the date to our collection of notes here. And you could do that very easily. For instance, if we just head back to the home page, it's really up to you, um, but maybe you have some span here that contains the uh, note.date, for instance. And so you can see it here, and then you could sort of style it however you like. Maybe we move it back here. And I think the name of our class was just date. So there's just a little bit more styling you can do, and you can just play around with this and get it to a place where you're happy with it. Okay, so now we've sort of completed a demo version of our application. There's certainly other things you could do here. Maybe you have the ability to edit a note or copy a note or maybe even like text a note or something like that. There's lots of things that we could do from here, but we have a basic CRUD application set up or at least uh, create, read, and destroy. Um, so like I said, you may want to create a method to edit a note on a page that shouldn't be too difficult We've looked at ways to access a note directly using the unique identifier that we've chosen here. And so you may want to consider adding a method to your note service to say update a note. And you could again get that note just by using this uh, create date that we're using as the identifier.
So I'll leave that up to you to make improvements to the app, make updates, or add new features. For now, let's go ahead and see how we can actually deploy this app to a device using Ionic View. So at the time of this recording, if you head over to ionicframework.com slash pro slash view, you can get some information here about view. Basically a way to, yeah, as, as you can see here, share, test, and collect feedback on your apps. And this basically allows you to do that without ever going through the app stores. So I'm not sure exactly how it's working, but basically you would download view onto your device and it serves as almost like a container for your application. So I have an iPhone and I simply downloaded the new uh, view app or the newer view app. Note that there is a legacy Ionic view, which I believe has a white icon, but the most up-to-date view app, again, at the time of this recording, has a, an icon with a blue background. So if you're following along here, go ahead and get the current view app if you're using an iPhone or Android here and then go ahead and sign up. And note that this is all free, at least um, just for creating a, a small app here to test out on your own device. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account here. And you can see that I've previously deployed an app. So just to start fresh here, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this app and we'll go ahead and create a new one. We'll give it a name, we're just gonna call it My Notes again. You can call yours whatever you like. We'll go ahead and create it. And then it's just gonna give you some very straightforward instructions to build and deploy your application. So what we wanna do is connect an existing app, and this is gonna be very similar to using other sort of platforms as a service. So if you're using like, say Heroku or something to deploy an application, then this is going to look very similar. Basically, you're gonna push a Git repo containing your Ionic code to Ionic and it's going to take care of building your application and deploying it then on your device you can log into your account and access um, that application and then launch it directly from Ionic View. So let's go ahead and just do that. Let me go ahead and stop the server. And so we're in our project directory. We want to make sure that we have the latest Ionic CLI. Okay, so at the time of my recording, I've got Ionic 3.19.0, and then we'll go ahead and Ionic link, and then you pass your pro ID to link the current app to your Ionic account, and then we can go ahead and get push Ionic master here. Okay, and I forgot my password a few times, but luckily on the third time we got it. Okay, and once that's done, we should be able to refresh the page here. And you can see the branch that you have here along with the latest commit. So I obviously hadn't made a commit since the second video of the series, so just ignore <laughs> this commit message. Um, but this is up to speed with um, the current video. So if we click here, we can actually see the build log, which is pretty cool. You can even package a build for iOS or Android, which will require you to upgrade to a pro account. And you can do some versioning here for iOS or Android. So that's pretty cool. If we click head back to our account here, you can see now that um, we have an app associated with our account called My Notes. And so if you have the Ionic View app on your device, you can go ahead and log into your account and then deploy this application for testing to your device.